Will the stock market crash in 2024? Let's face it, that's the question on many minds. As we navigate the financial landscape, it's crucial to examine the six key risk factors that could potentially trigger a market crash. From overvalued stocks and confusing market benchmarks, to the rising consumer angst, persistent inflation, soaring US government spending, and the precarious position of big technology stocks, each plays a pivotal role in shaping our financial future. So let's delve deeper into these risk factors. Firstly, we need to consider that the stock market could be overvalued. Now, let's delve into what that means. When we say a market is overvalued, we're essentially saying that the prices of stocks are higher than their intrinsic worth. This discrepancy happens when investors get carried away by optimism and bid up prices beyond what's justified by the underlying company's earnings and prospects. Now, why is this a problem? Well, overvaluation can result in a market crash because it's unsustainable in the long run. The higher the overvaluation, the greater the potential for a significant price correction. Think of it as a rubber band that has been stretched too far, it's bound to snap back at some point. So, how does overvaluation contribute to a market crash? The answer lies in investor sentiment. When investors realize that they've been paying too much for stocks, panic can set in. This panic can trigger a sell-off, which can then lead to a sharp fall in stock prices. But it's not just about investor sentiment. Overvaluation can also have real economic consequences. When stock prices are too high, companies may struggle to meet investor expectations. This can lead to decreased confidence in the market and a slowdown in economic activity, both of which can contribute to a market crash. Therefore, Overvaluation is a significant risk factor to keep an eye on. It's like a ticking time bomb, and it's only a matter of time before it goes off. So it's crucial for us to monitor the market's valuation levels and adjust our investment strategies accordingly. Secondly, key market benchmarks are causing confusion. You see, market benchmarks play a pivotal role in the financial world. They serve as reference points, helping investors make informed decisions. They are the yardsticks that measure the performance of portfolios, funds, and even the market as a whole. However, these benchmarks can sometimes be misleading, leading to confusion and potentially contributing to market instability. For instance, consider a situation where a particular benchmark index is performing exceptionally well, but the broader market isn't reflecting this positive trend. This discrepancy can create a false sense of security among investors who may believe the entire market is doing well, when in reality, it could be on the brink of a downturn. Similarly, if a benchmark index is performing poorly, it might create undue panic leading investors to sell off their holdings, which could trigger a market crash. In reality, it could just be a temporary dip, something quite normal in the ever-fluctuating world of finance. The confusion intensifies when different benchmarks tell different stories. One might be soaring while another is plummeting. In such scenarios, determining the true state of the market becomes a daunting task, even for seasoned investors. It's also important to remember that benchmarks, while useful, are not infallible. They are susceptible to manipulation and can be skewed by a few large companies or sectors. Therefore, relying solely on them for investment decisions can be risky. As such, Confusion caused by key market benchmarks is another risk factor. 
Thirdly, consumer angst is on the rise. The pulse of the stock market often beats in sync with the rhythm of consumer sentiment. When consumers are optimistic and confident, they spend more, they invest more, and this fuels economic growth. The stock market in turn responds positively. But what happens when the tides turn? What happens when consumer sentiment takes a nosedive? When consumers start to worry about the future, they tighten their belts, they spend less, they invest less, and this can trigger a domino effect. Reduced consumer spending can lead to lower profits for businesses. Lower profits can lead to layoffs, which in turn can lead to even less consumer spending and investment. It's a vicious cycle that can potentially lead to a market crash. Now we're seeing signs that consumer angst is increasing, whether it's concerns about job security, the cost of living, or the state of the economy, people are worried. And these worries are being reflected in consumer sentiment surveys. In the face of this rising angst, businesses are finding it harder to forecast their future earnings. Investors are finding it harder to make confident decisions. The stock market is finding it harder to maintain its buoyancy. Rising consumer angst is therefore another risk factor to consider. Fourthly, inflation is a persistent issue. Inflation, as many of us know, is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. This in turn erodes purchasing power, meaning each unit of currency buys fewer goods and services. It's a bit like a silent thief nibbling away at the value of your money. In a stable economy, a certain level of inflation is expected and even necessary for growth. However, when inflation becomes persistent and high, it can lead to economic instability. Prices begin to rise faster than wages, making it harder for people to afford the goods and services they need. This can lead to decreased consumer spending, which is a major driver of the economy. When consumers tighten their belts, businesses suffer. They may have to cut back on production, leading to layoffs and a rise in unemployment. This in turn can cause a further decrease in consumer spending, creating a vicious cycle that can be hard to break. Furthermore, persistent inflation can cause uncertainty in the markets. Investors may become wary, pulling their money out of stocks and causing prices to fall. If this happens rapidly and on a large scale, it could potentially trigger a market crash. So as you can see, inflation is not just about paying a few cents more for a loaf of bread. It has far reaching effects on the economy and the stock market. Persistent inflation is thus another key risk factor. Fifthly, US government spending is soaring. Now let's break down what this means. Imagine you're in a hot air balloon rising higher and higher. That's what US government spending has been doing. It's been increasing at an unprecedented rate, reaching dizzying heights. But what are the implications of this soaring spending? Well, one of the most immediate consequences is a ballooning national debt. As the government spends more, it borrows more. And this debt continues to pile up. Imagine a mountain of IOUs growing taller and taller. This is the reality facing the US economy right now. This national debt isn't just a number on a balance sheet. It's a ticking time bomb. Every dollar of debt is a promise to pay back with interest. That's money that will have to come out of future budgets, putting pressure on government finances for years, even decades to come. Now, let's connect the dots to the stock market. As the government's financial health deteriorates, it creates economic instability. Investors become nervous. 
They begin to question the government's ability to manage its finances, and this uncertainty can lead to market volatility. And we all know what happens when the stock market becomes volatile. Prices can swing wildly, and in a worst-case scenario, this can trigger a market crash. Soaring U.S. government spending is therefore a significant risk factor. The hot air balloon keeps rising, but remember, what goes up must eventually come down. Lastly, big technology stocks need to maintain their position. These behemoths of the investment world hold a vast sway over the overall health of the stock market. Think about the FANG stocks, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. These companies are not just market leaders, but trendsetters, shaping the direction of the entire tech sector. When these giants are thriving, the stock market tends to follow suit. But should their stocks falter, the ripple effects can be felt across the entire market. Investors, institutional and retail alike, often look to these stocks as a barometer of market health. So, a dip in their performance can trigger a wave of market pessimism, potentially leading to a wider sell-off. One might ask, why would these titans falter? Several reasons can be attributed. Regulatory pressures, changes in consumer behavior, or even the emergence of disruptive technologies can impact their bottom line. For instance, in the past, we've seen how privacy concerns affected Facebook, or how competition from emerging players challenged Netflix. The key takeaway here is that these big tech stocks are more than just individual companies. They are the pillars that support the stock market. Their performance shapes investor sentiment and market trends. Therefore, their ability to hold their ground is critical in preventing a potential market crash. Thus, the performance of big technology stocks is a key risk factor. In conclusion, these six risk factors present potential challenges for the stock market in 2024. The first issue, overvaluation, is a clear sign of bubbles that could burst. Then we have key market benchmarks causing confusion, creating a cloudy forecast for investors. A third concern is the rising consumer angst, a direct reflection of people's confidence or lack thereof in the market. Inflation, the fourth risk, is stubbornly persistent, gnawing at the real returns of investments. Factor number five, soaring U.S. government spending can lead to instability and market volatility. Lastly, the performance of big technology stocks holds a significant influence on the market's overall health, making them an essential watch point. Each of these risk factors holds a piece of the puzzle that is the 2024 stock market. While the future is always uncertain, being aware of these risk factors can help investors navigate potential challenges.